Welcome to our channel. I'm so happy we are finally doing this. Yep. I am like thrilled and it is the most nerve-wracking but the most exciting thing. We only thought of doing this literally a month ago. Well, actually it was my idea. And I fell for the trap. <laughs> so we are so excited to share our love and our life with you and to just contribute to Black Love content. And yeah, guys, let's get to know us. So I'm Tilly, I'm 28 years old. I'm an advocate by profession and I'm a Zulu girl from Madrid. My name is Lisa Khome. I am 29 years old, turning 30 this year. I'm an accountant and I am from Soweto. The purpose of our channel really is that it's just to share and inspire black love and also to just share our lives with you. The reason why we started this channel is just to do something different, especially because we are in very stressful careers or professions. So just to do something exciting, we've been vlogging our entire relationship yeah. actually. Um, back to our first road trip which was in 2015. So um, it's something that we've always been doing. The only different thing is really just sharing it and yeah, letting everyone come into our lives and just get to know us a little bit more. I'm personally excited about this um, because I'm generally sh um, shy and um, this was a brilliant idea to just express myself and um, to share how much I love this person and just how much <laughs> I just enjoy talking to people. The problem is I'm just shy in person. So yeah, I'm looking forward to just having a positive reaction, having a fantastic time with you guys. Um, I just can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait to. I think it's going to be so much fun. And yeah, guys, show some love and just share some positive comments. Constructive criticism is obviously a good thing. But yeah, guys, we're all about love. So can you please uh, be nice to each be other? Nice, please. Just please be nice. <laughs> Even though we do know what this comes with, we do know that we are also opening up ourselves to negativity. And I think we are prepared for that. So what you can expect from us. You can expect a lot of travel vlogs. Um, as she just, just mentioned that we've been vlogging since 2015. The only difference is we just decided to share it now. And I mean, we, we took like six years before we decided to share it. And that's mm. because of in nature, like I said, we pretty much shy people. So we decided mm. to keep most of the stuff personal. So um, we took the leap of faith to say, you know what, let's just share um, what we've been experiencing and just share it with the world. Yeah, okay, we're also gonna be doing date vlogs, chit chats about relationships, challenges and pretty much highly requested videos so if there is a type of video that you would like us to try out and share with you guys please let us know so just for you guys to get to know us better we've come up with questions that we are going to discuss uh, the first question is when did we meet and start dating yeah <laughs> so we met um towards the end of 2014 i think it must have been like august or september 2014 and then yeah, we started dating in May of 2015, on the 21st of May, yeah. 2015. So we've been together for almost seven years, baby. Been together for a very long time. PhD. And yeah, we have a PhD in dating. So any relationship advice that you need, you can ask us. The second question is, where did we meet? So we met at um, Sophia Town, um, student accommodation, um, opposite UJ at Auckland Park. And I was in my final year, she was in her third year. The third question is, um, what did we do on our first date? Okay, so interestingly enough, I actually can't pinpoint when our actual first date was because Lisoha and I were friends initially and we used to just randomly meet up or even bump into each other and we used to have a lot of car dates, like we'd want to <laughs> see each other <laughs> but not have anything so. to do really. But we'd literally just park at the side of the road and chat for hours. Um, so I'd say our first official date was definitely in 2015 where he fetched me from Varsity and he took me to the Botanical Gardens. Yes. And really all it was was a pizza box and some wine and we chilled out for the whole afternoon. And times were hard. I mean, that's the only thing I could afford yeah. on the first day. Just a couple of um, items from Woolworths. Yeah. And I think I borrowed the, the picnic basket from someone else. <laughs> yeah. Um, so ladies, if you are interested in a guy who isn't um, where you'd like him to be financially, it's okay as long as you know that he loves you, he respects you and he wants to take good care of you, it's enough. Like not everyone is going to be able to take you to marble or solo or whatever, yeah, whatever fancy, yeah, whatever fancy restaurant. 
Um, I think these authentic dates like picnics are also nice because you just get to know each other better and really just chill out. So the next question is, do we live together? No. <laughs> I've, I've just visited her for two years. I literally visit, I actually go home you know, twice, <laughs> twice a month, but I don't live with her. I'm, I'm always with her, but I don't live with her. Um, I actually saw someone post on Twitter that they could never do fat and sit, but what they can do is like visit for a year and then go home for a couple of days. And I could totally relate because that's basically what we've been doing. When lockdown happened, we had to actually make a decision because I actually have very strict parents. Um, so we couldn't really live together because we are not married. But um, yeah, I just, I, I wouldn't be able to deal. Like that first lockdown where like it was level five, we can't do anything. We were literally like, okay, we're gonna stay together for that one month or whatever it is. And then when lockdown is over, um, we'll, we'll separate again. But it's like the millionth day of lockdown now. <laughs> so to be fair, it's not our fault. It really isn't our fault. We tried it for like five years, like for five years solid, um, we weren't living together. So I don't know guys, you can comment down below and let us know whether you think this is a fat and sit or not. We say no. So the next question is, what first attracted you to TV? That booty! <laughs> you know? <laughs> Baby! Yeah, it, has, it has to be that booty. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Look, I mean, I'm a first... What attracted me to you, literally baby i just saw a hot body i mean i couldn't i can't say personality because i hadn't spoken to you right yeah. and my first point of attraction is just Whoa! yes and then i had to throw my bones and that was the first point of attraction to be honest i was no i hadn't spoken to her mm. so i can't really say personality um and then fast forward when i did get to speak to her i actually found out how humble she is wanted to hear a lot from her just understand what kind of person she is she was just actually an outlier from what i've met actually for the past couple of years so um i just wanted to get to know you more and just be with you and just it was just amazing how much of your attention i wanted so the second last question is what are the three things you love about me the three things i love about Peely, i think the first one would be the fact that she's a praying woman you know, I, I grew up going to church um, and all, but I actually had not seen someone that prays so much. Apart from old people, right? Old people <laughs> pray a lot and they, yeah. they're so deep. But to see a young woman actually being so in touch with prayer and the word, it's actually just amazing, you know, especially for a guy, a young guy like me, not really much into prayer. I mean, you do believe, but you're not really much into prayer. So you need that kind of anchor. And... Um, and she's been an anchor actually, she's just been a prayer warrior for me and I think that's top tier for me. The second thing would be that she's caring honestly, for people that know PLC where they know that um, she's caring regardless of um, status, you know, she, she just cares a lot, she just loves people and she just loves um, seeing people being, um, you know, taken care of and sometimes it's to, it's to her detriment and you know, I've voiced so many concerns, we've fought so many times about people actually taking advantage of her and the fact that she's just so caring, you know. Um, and the last thing, wow, she's such, such a hard worker. Honestly speaking, she's a hard working woman. Like she just mentioned that she's an advocate. She's still young, you know, she has her own practice. I've I wouldn't be able to do that, you know. Having a young person running her own practice, business, it's, it's amazing. Um, the three things I love about Lucifer, the first thing is that he's reliable. Um, Lucifer is so down for me, it's insane. Um, actually, there's nothing that I, there's nothing that I can go through and not lean on Lucifer for. He's my first point of call, my go-to. Um, so I just love the fact that he's reliable, not only for me, but also for his family and his friends. The second thing I love about Lucifer is his energy. <laughs> his energy and his aura he's telling me guys he's shy and all that stuff but anyone who knows this and has been with him like this is so much fun and even when he's not um high energy and everything just his aura like i can't explain it honestly it's just a connection that i feel inside but i really like his energy and his aura and then the third thing that I love about Lucifer, I'm not sure if this is because of my love languages, but he's a very affectionate person. Like, Lucifer is here the whole time. 
Um, he's a very affectionate person and very loving. So yeah, guys, we have some exciting content lined up this week. Again, if there's any kind of video that you would like us to try or things that you'd like us, sorry, things that you'd like to see from us, please comment below. Um, we are very open to requested videos and we'll try our best um, to deliver. Uh, and the last thing, guys, thank you so much thank you. to our first 100 subscribers. 105 subscribers <laughs> in the space of less than 24 hours. That's quite impressive. Yeah, I honestly didn't think we'd even get there. To be honest but yeah thank you guys for the support already when our content hadn't even dropped and we hope that we will actually earn your subscriptions and earn your views yeah. and that this will be worth your while cheers guys <laughs> but yeah cheers guys thank you for watching please like share comment and subscribe we love you cheers love you all